Hey guys, welcome back to Monday Mods, and this is our GTR series. And we're going to start by showing you how to change your front differential fluid, rear differential fluid, and transmission fluid. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button on this video so you don't have to miss out on the next three videos featuring this GTR. Okay guys, using a 12 and a 10 millimeter socket and a 3 8 inch drive impact, we're going to remove the underbelly pan. Okay guys, so using a 10 millimeter hex for the fill plug and a five millimeter hex for the drain plug, you're gonna remove the plugs from the transmission and drain the fluid. But before you drain the fluid, make sure you're able to break loose your fill plug. Go ahead and remove the plug to drain the fluid. There's actually another tube inside of here. So while that drains, we're also gonna remove the fill plug and we'll move on and break open the rear differential. Removing the fill plug will also release pressure and may help it to drain more quickly. Okay, on the rear, both plugs are the same size, which is the 10 millimeter hex. Again, start by breaking open the fill plug and then the drain plug. As you can see, it's taking quite a bit of force to break that open. Just make sure that your socket is the right size and that it's fully inserted into the plug. All right, here's the fill plug location and the drain plug location for your rear differential. Okay, once all the residual fluid has leaked out, you can remove the inner tube and get the rest of the fluid out of the transmission using a five millimeter hex. That light really brings out your bald spot. Just to see what it does to your fat spot. Oh, the whole, it's just, I'm sure it's horrible. Tons of shadows. <laughs> So show them the tube, Anthony. Show them how this works. This is the tube and it threads into the actual casing of the pan. So basically what's happening, if you imagine this inside of it, is it's holding it at that level. And the fluid that we drained out first was just the fluid on top of this. Um, which is only circulating through while it's running. Um, once we go to fill it up, we'll show you the process to make sure you have the proper amount. But when you turn it off, you would always have some come out through the plug that we originally took out. Okay, now we're gonna reinsert the level tube. And it just needs to be snug. Small tools. <laughs> No, I just know the damage the big tool can do. I know. Should my wife tell you about that? <laughs> okay guys, so on the front differential, again, a 10 millimeter hex, but this time we're also gonna need a six inch extension to get to the fill plug. And we started by breaking loose the fill plug and then the drain plug. Fill plug. Here's your fill plug. And then here will be your drain plug. Now we're going to remove the drain plug from the front differential. I think you're going to miss, bro. I need to. It's going to come. I don't know. Oh, 
Make sure you wipe off the magnet. See all the little particles on there? Okay, now we're gonna tighten the drain plug to the front differential. Snap. Okay, now we're gonna remove the drain plug from the rear differential. That fluid looks pretty clean. Now we're gonna reinstall the drain plug into the differential. Tighten it up. Okay, we're gonna fill up our front differential using Motul 75140. This is available from STM Tune, or you can also buy it on Amazon. It's much less expensive than the Nissan brand, and the quality is just as good. We're gonna be using a fluid transfer pump that we picked up from AutoZone for $19.99. You're gonna fill it with fluid until it overflows and then let the residual drain out before installing the fill plug. Okay, as you can see, it's streaming out of there pretty well which means that we're full. We'll let the residual run off before installing the fill plug. See all the air bubbles? This is a pretty color. <laughs> all right. Then we're gonna reinstall the fill plug. It's a 10 millimeter. And once you've filled the transmission enough, it'll start to overflow out of the tube, which is when it's time to start it up and let it run through gears and then recheck the fluid level once it's up to temperature. Okay guys, whenever you're checking the fluid level, there is a procedure to accurately check it when you start it up and we'll have that in the description of this video. After the startup procedure, you're gonna remove the fill plug and add an additional quart of fluid the transmission and then you're going to let the car run until it reaches 122 degrees transmission fluid temperature or about five minutes. Now we're going to reinstall fill plug and we're going to start the car up. We're going to reinstall our front and rear shields while the car runs and then after five minutes or so, we'll remove the small plug and let any excess fluid drain out. Can you tell us what we're doing here, Anthony? Okay, now we're gonna remove the center drain plug and let the fluid run out until you get one drip per second. Put the thing in the hole, man. <laughs> you all right? Anything you got? A little something on your nose? I'm fine. <laughs> You're pointing the f thing at me. <laughs> you got his face when it happens. <laughs>